Hey guys, in this edition of Bleeding Edge TV, we bring you a update, some updates from uh, Fitbit. If you're not familiar, Fitbit makes the Fitbit Ultra, which is, uh, actually I'm wearing one right here. It's a little, uh, it's a pedometer, an altimeter, it monitors my steps, my calories, it's a watch. It monitors how well I sleep, how, much, how long I've walked in a day, how many stairs I've climbed, things like that. Let me put that thing back on. Um, yeah, so they got some new pro a new product called Fitbit Aria that we're going to talk to you about, and also to give us some updates on the Fitbit Ultra. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Andrew Edwards back at CES 2012 with Mark Silverio. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. You represent Fitbit. Fitbit it is. One of our favorite, uh, actually I was going to say favorite fitness products, but really one of our favorite products, period. It's really cool. So tell us about what Fitbit is. So Fitbit is a company that's dedicated to providing simple, innovative products that helps people improve their health and overall wellness. So we've got our flagship product, the Fitbit Ultra, which uh, came out this October. And this is a wireless activity and sleep tracker. The product itself will measure your, uh, you wear it on your, somewhere in your torso or in your pocket every day. It measures your steps, miles you walk, number of stairs you climb, and how many calories you burn. When you get within 15 feet of your computer, it wisely syncs that information up to your account on Fitbit.com, where you get free graphs and charts where you can see your activity over time, where you can set goals, and where you can share that information and compete with friends, and get motivational things like badges when you hit uh, you know, certain achievements. Uh, products uh, cost $99, available today at Best Buy, Amazon.com, Brookstone, Radio Shack, and launching next week at Target. Nice. And it's Fitbit Ultra. So what's actually changed from your original uh, model that makes this one Ultra? Ultra? So the Ultra added an altimeter. And what the altimeter does is allows us to track stairs and hills that you climb. So when you, you know, climb stairs, you obviously burn more calories than when you're just walking uh, you know, on a straight floor. So to better track your calorie burn, we've added the altimeter so that we can now track how many flights of stairs you climb, or if you're in San Francisco and climbing up a, a steep hill, uh, we measure that as well. And that gives you a better idea of how many calories you're burning and also incents you to take the stairs when maybe you would have taken an elevator or an escalator. Mm -hmm. And so that's the Fitbit Ultra. Yep. Um, and now you guys have a new product that we haven't seen until this evening. Fitbit Aria. Aria. And what is Fitbit Aria all about? Fitbit Aria is a Wi-Fi smart scale. And what that is, is a high performance scale that measures your weight and your percentage body fat. And wirelessly syncs that, every time you step on it, wirelessly syncs that data back to Fitbit.com, where once again, now you can actually accurately track your weight, your percentage body fat, and your BMI, your body mass index, over time. You can see the trends, you can see when you, it was holidays and you ate too much, and you know, when you went back to your regular routine, and, um, and you also can see how your activity, that we measure with the Ultra, how your activity can affect your weight goals. We provide tools like a food plan that helps you manage how much calories you should take in to reach your goals. And once again, motivational and social uh, tools that help you stay on track and compete with people and motivate you to reach your weight goals. So it's really a total weight management system. And when you combine it with the Fitbit Ultra, you now have a full 360 uh, degree view of your overall health and wellness data all in one place that you can access online, either through your computer or through our free iPhone app. And when is this going to be available in stores? It's going to be available in stores in April, and it costs $129. Okay. And for those that are familiar with the Withings scale, yep. was there, are there any key differences between those? So the products are aimed at doing the same thing, which is measuring weight and uh, body fat and putting that online. Really, I think the difference for us is going to be the fact is our online tools and services. Because what we're doing is we're going to be able to offer you really a complete weight management system so you can track activity as well as, and log food data so that you can really set goals and stay on track. So the online system is really what differentiates us. Well, Mark, we appreciate the time. Thanks for showing us all the products. Let me shake your hand with my other hand. Got it. Not, so, not all awkward with my left hand. Just messed up the ending. But Mark, we appreciate your, your time. Um, that's Fitbit. We love the Fitbit itself. The Fitbit, well, Fitbit Ultra now and Fitbit Aria. We're going to definitely keep our eye out for that one. Um, it's really cool to have, be able to track everything that the Fitbit Ultra does and match it 
and have all the same one dashboard for your weight loss as well. That's really cool. And that's obviously what you said, sets you apart. Fitbit.com is going to be that hub where you can have all of that data. Okay. Fitbit.com, if you're interested to buy either one of these, that one comes out in April. Stay tuned. We'll have more from CES 2012 in just a minute.